300 yards. From Tahoe to Reno is 67 miles, and an interesting course, a downhill descent from the forest of Lake Tahoe into the deserts of Nevada, up through Carson City, Virginia City, and a sprint into Reno. Yes, it's a short climb out of Lake Tahoe and a fast descent down to Carson City, another deceptive climb, and it's downhill into Reno. And the danger of cycling is immediately apparent in this steep descent. Alexei Grail on this downhill stretch, we're going 60 miles an hour. What's that like on a bicycle? It's really scary when you're with 60, 70 riders, because one mistake and you can go down, and if you go down at 60 miles an hour, you get hurt. Into Carson City, Greg Lamont feels the pressure of a homecoming. He's lived in Europe since 1981. This race marks his return. We're on a road that Greg Lamont has trained on many, many times to climb to Virginia City. Alexi, does it make a difference if you know the route? Especially on a climb, it makes a big difference because you know where the top are, you know where the steepest sections are, and uh, you can time your efforts according to uh, the road. The pack was shattered early on. It was a difficult climb, and Hampton rode aggressively, attacking at the base. Lamont went with him, knowing that this climb would be his. Then Lamont took the lead, wearing the yellow Sprint Leaders jersey, the fastest sprinter in the field. Hampton followed in the Purple Mountain jersey, the best climber in the field. But who would win here, the sprinter or the climber? Connie went back on a motorcycle to take a look. I just came from the break. Greg Lamont and Andrew Hampton are a minute up on the, on the chase group, and they're looking very fresh. Greg Lamont knows this course, and he's riding it for all it's worth. When I'm racing, it's, uh, you know, time passes. We'll be on the six or seven hour race, but it goes by so quick. It, it's such a, a technical sport, and it's, it's like car racing and running and combined. It's, you've got to be very smart, but you've also got to be physically one of the strongest, especially when it comes to, like, stage races. Every year, I get a little bit better, and things things don't really get easier, but they start falling into place. And the, the more I learn about the sport, the more I learn... You know, there's all kinds of things I don't know about it, so I just become more and more intrigued the better I get. They are two men racing together, but two men very different. Greg Lamont, famous in Europe, million dollar contracts. Andy Hampton, a new pro, a man who only months ago was living on sandwiches and begging rooms. And Lamont had Bernard Hinault controlling the chase. When they come into Reno, Andy goes for a long sprint, hoping to outpower the faster Lamont. But it just doesn't work. Lamont picks his moment and just blasts by Andy. And Andy's pretty helpless at this moment. And it's all, it's all Lamont's victory. All Lamont's. A great battle. And after the battle, the competitors can be friends again. The road race victory goes to Greg Lamont, followed by Hampton and Canadian Alex Stita. The big change came in the overall standings. Lamont's victory moved him into the lead, followed by Hampton. Steve Bauer dropped to third. The team standings remained the same. Andy, you seem the strongest climber today. What do you think? I think we're close enough where uh, if he's having a good day, you know, he can drop me. If I'm having a good day, I might be able to drop him. Any predictions for the rest of the race? Uh, I think you'll see Greg and I attacking each other quite a bit. And they're not.